Okay, so in this video I've got an intermittent trouble on this panel. This is a Mac panel. Uh, it's an FCPS-24 FS6. It's a power supply. It's labeled Expander 1. So my trouble says Expander 1 second floor and the address is module 19. This is a mini module for a fire light system. And so they wrote on the back of it what what it's for. Wrote the address on the front and what loop it is. And that's the part right there. So it's just been intermittently coming and going in trouble, so I figured I'd do a quick video on what I look for whenever I come up to a job site and it's got an intermittent trouble uh, coming and going. So um, so I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and start now. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my meter. Make sure my camera's focused up there. see my voltage but I'll read off my voltage. Sorry about the light going out. Okay, so I come down through the max and I'm just gonna check my voltage. So I'm gonna leave it on there for a moment. It's uh, 1.597 on NAC4. 1.595 I'll leave it on there for just a moment see if there's any fluctuation 1.592 no fluctuation 1.6 so that one's a little high So we'll note that uh, NAC one's got a little higher voltage than the others. I just take a middle note. Now what I'm doing, I'm checking for ground. I will uh, go to each one of these uh, circuits. I'm gonna touch one lead to the to the wire, and the other lead to a good ground source. So let this piece of conduit. Either I can come up here even and touch it to the to the ground on on the fire alarm panel. So that four volts to the positive. I'm gonna flip flop them leads, make a little easier on me. Four point zero uh, two point four fluctuating to two point eight on the negative. Four on my positive. Two point four fluctuating on the negative. Four on the positive. Two point four on the negative. So I just go down through there. See, so I'm keeping uh, and on the negative leg the whole time. Um, excuse me, on the ground the whole time, and I'm just touching my other lead and I'm reading voltage. Two point four on that one. So all those look good. Um, so I'm gonna flip it to AC. I just wanna see what my AC looks like. 121.9. Alright. Next, I'm gonna test my batteries. So I got a battery tester here. This is one of those I take, you know, I would take notes on what the voltage is and stuff like that. And I'm going to do a comparison. See, there's other, 
There's other night panels here as well, but those aren't going in trouble intermittently. So we're going to take this loose right here. We take note it's two black wires, so make sure that they get hooked up right so you don't burn up your panel. I know a guy that's burned up two of them so far, maybe three. So you hooked them up wrong. So we hook to it. And as you can see our battery tester here. Same powering up. I know most people like the video to be turned sideways, but I can't fit it in my pocket sideways, so you get what you can get when I'm on the field sometimes. So I'm saying that battery's at 12.76. I'm testing it. Eleven amp hours. That's really overcharged. Hmm. That's a seven amp hour battery. Click, that's the battery clearing on that. Feeling for heat. There's a little bit of heat on that battery. Okay. I just showed you what I'm doing here, so I'm basically doing the other thing. Same thing to the other battery. Whenever I got this loose, as you can see, I make sure that the leads aren't touching. It's powering up the meter. Guys, uh, during this pause, I just want to please ask you to like and subscribe, okay? Uh, once I get up to a thousand subscribers, I, I can start. Uh, making a little money off of it, and I plan on giving some giveaways, uh, like panels I repair and stuff like that. Uh, 11 amp hours. Like I said, that's a little high. That's a lot high for this battery. back up. So my red lead will go there. Black lead will go there. I'll double check everything before I connect it back up. And as you hear that relay clicked and went normal. Okay so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna check another panel. Verify that I've got exactly the same same results on this other panel. So one of the other things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through there and tighten all the screws. So I'm gonna say it's the old DC voltage. 24 volts on that, 4, 24, this must be a door holder, well, not for main bases, uh, those are, those won't work, that's a different, different setup, so these are sounders and these are horn strokes, so, uh, I can't check off of that. That's why you get 24 volts on that constant. Because that's for a sounder base in the room. I should have read that. Let's see where it says 
room sounder bases, common floors. Okay. So another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna after I tighten all the wires, I'm gonna walk the entire property that feeds off of this the for out. It says uh, output number one's first floor common areas, horn strobes. Second floor common area, horn foot strobes, third, fourth, common area, horn strobes. So I'm gonna walk the entire premises. Um, just take a look at the, the horn strobes. And I might even go into the pool area. A lot of times in these uh, hotels you see corrosion on the contacts in the pool area because the chlorine. So I'm gonna take a look at that while I'm here as well. So all right, guys, that's a uh, quick down and dirty of it. Um, with the intermittent trouble, it's not in right now. So um, I'm just, like I said, I'm doing some basic checking. It's a good idea to, you know, there's no telling how many times I've been there and it's just a, uh, a loose terminal. So it's a good idea anytime you're messing with one of these. See how loose that will be. So, Look, I'm still turning it. That's how loose that is. That's probably our culprit. So, so that's not that loose. I only put half a turn. So, see so yeah, that was like four turns. Or four and a half turns. So, two turns loose. No, no, it wasn't too, too bad. I see people take these off while they're troubleshooting and then they, they forget to tighten them back up. Alright, so let's see if they tighten everything real good. That one's real nice too. Alright. So that's all I'm going to do right here at the panel right now. Um, I said I'm gonna do a walk walk through the whole building, but I'm not gonna do that on video. Mm -hmm. I has to do stuff like that. But something else I noticed right here, these pins are I'm trying to get a good angle on that so you can see it. They're bent. It will not focus that close. Here we go. They're bent, but they're not touching. So, I don't see any char marks. I don't smell any burn as well. So, all right. Please like and subscribe, guys. Please like said it helps me out. Thank you, guys.